My name is Shelley Frimpong Manso. I'm a film producer director from Ghana, West Africa. And Shelley, you've got um, two things we're going to talk about today. What's the first of those two things? The first thing we're talking about today is Rebecca. Yeah. It's a feature. Yeah. And uh, we're releasing that in uh, January 2016. Yes. And when will it be released? We're first um, outdooring it in Ghana yeah. on the 8th and 9th of January yeah. uh, in what we're calling a Sparrow Entertainment Festival. Yeah. Um, and then in London at the Odeon Cinema on the 22nd of January for a special premiere event. And what's the story in Rebecca? Rebecca is a two-cast movie. So in the entire movie, there are only two people, yeah. Yvonne Okoro and Joseph Benjamin. Yeah. It is... Um, uh, for want of a better word, um, a romantic thriller of sorts, right. <laughs> and uh, basically it's about uh, a young man, yeah. you know, affluent city guy, yeah. who goes to pick up a village girl, yeah. because he had promised his mother he was going to marry her, and then they head off to back back home, back home, and in the middle of nowhere the car stops, and they basically have to reacquaint themselves with each other and things really go from weird to romance to love to heartbreak and the sorts very interesting yeah so it's an up close relationship very quite intense very very intense yes so the second thing we're talking about is a tv series called champagne yes champagne champagne spelt s-h-a-m-p-a-i-g-n it's a combination of two words sham and campaign it's a political drama series so basically, we, 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 we put the two words together, the sham of campaign, so champagne, yes. Yeah. And again, what is the story in, in champagne? Well, champagne is, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit of, you know, the propaganda that I, I started off with when I, I started doing uh, films and television. Uh, it's about a young Ghanaian woman who is seeking the office of the president, you know, in a very um, um, upbeat political you know terrain yes you know and she's got a lot going for her and against her first she's single she's yeah. young she's too beautiful in the sense that people think what is a pretty woman wanting yeah. to you know serious? yeah she, she's yeah. serious yeah. yeah and she's got a young political team political campaign team and they are also frost with their own individual problems so coupled with the fact that she's young they're young and they're battling with all of these things and their attempt to actually win an election as big as that is where the drama comes in. I don't want to know the outcome, but presumably <laughs> by the end of the first series you get to an election. Yes, by the end of the first series there's a huge big twist. Nothing that anybody expects. And so I think that's 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 where it gets really it, interesting. Yes. Leave it at that. yes. <laughs> and how does what you show in that series compare to the reality of Garner who gets elected. It is very real. I think a few people have uh, said to me, are you trying to pave the way for a woman president? And I have said, you know, I have come across one or two women, young women in politics that I completely admire mm. and I will absolutely support. And so for me, if this will pave the way in, in, in any way, yeah. you know, for them to be able to achieve the long term goal, I am all happy for it. This is something that is in the works and is going to happen. So just like perhaps uh, America did 24 yeah. and put a black actor as president, yes. maybe this and is the beginning of things. Exactly, well. yeah. exactly. So maybe this is indeed the, the beginning of uh, something very interesting to happen to our political... The first woman president. Uh, exactly. And young, yes. you know, not an old woman, but yeah. young and, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah.